Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're on a very nice, like, uh, Eden win streak here. Honestly, it's been relatively easy. That unicorn stump run last time was good. This time we got, uh, Kane, or Nearsighted Friend. Really good rate of fire. Damage seems okay based on tier radius and the D6. ZR63V6ZJ, if you gotta ask what that means, you can't afford it, buddy. Well, we did get a golden chest right off the bat from our, uh... From our self-sacrifice room. This is a really good start. We need some... Oh my god. We got Capricorn right off the bat, too. Um, we need some some bombs. Once we get some bombs, we can actually start to... Wait, we got one because of Capricorn? How did I not know that? Um, I think we start by placing a bomb here. This allows us to get the chest and another bomb. The chest is Bob's brain. Which we will then re-roll into Shoop the Whoop, which we'll hopefully get to re-roll again. Then we'll blow up the Tinted Rock. We got two spirit hearts and a key out of it. We still want more bombs, but uh, it's a good start so far. Hopefully we'll be able to go to our shop and buy another battery to reroll Shoop the Whoop. Um, we could have taken Bob's brain, but it's a little early for me to be signing that, you know, deal with the devil. Maybe later we'll, uh, we'll regret it if we don't get a lot of damage. But actually our damage is looking really nice so far. So I got nothing but, uh, but optimism right here. This is also just like a really rich floor right off the bat in terms of, pardon my French here, but in terms of shit, there's like a lot of shit everywhere. But it's good shit, it's not bad shit. Like, look at this, right here we have a chance to get uh, seven cents for one bomb. No adjacent second secret room, but still that's a great deal. And you know what, I'm immediately going to go to our, well let's see if our secret room is here, I doubt it, but it's worth a try. Uh, it is there, and inside we find a golden poop that has enough money to buy an item from the shop. I would actually love it if this were the steam sale right off the bat. Uh, which it isn't, but we can get an early there's options. And there's no battery in here, which means we're just hoping that there's enough rooms left where we can actually get another reroll. And there's not going to be, but um, that's alright. If I'd known that that would be the case, I probably would have uh, just taken Bob's brain, but we rolled the dice a little bit and tried to tried to get an extra reroll out of it. Oh well, it happens. Um, let's just go fight our boss. We won't be able to reroll what the Widow gives us either, so I'm a little disappointed in that, but apart from that, this is shaping up to be an amazing run. I mean, we have there's options and the D6, so boss rooms are like absolutely viable generators for good items for us now. Um, it's a bit of a tough one. We could have uh, not taken either. It was the only other decision in there, but I went with Placenta because maybe the... Let me put it this way, I don't want to be in a situation later where I'm like, man, sure wish I took that regen uh, instead of just taking the base HP upgrade. You might be saying, why wouldn't you want the regen? Well, there's a couple of reasons, like permanent Polaroid Invincibility, Horror of Babylon. Uh, just in general, it's oftentimes better to be able to control what your, uh, what your HP looks like as opposed to letting it uh, be dictated by something else. But, again, you don't want to be the guy who makes the, the stupid mistake and doesn't take regen and then people go, Oh, well, way to go, man. So, we did get Petrified Poop, but we got it early on this room, which is excellent, because we should be able to pick up quite a lot of money here. We have enough keys to get into our item room, but not the shop. But maybe if we get enough money, we'll, we'll prioritize the shop first. Might be getting a higher than average amount of payouts from the poop anyway, because our luck stat is going to be one higher than usual because of Capricorn or one higher than it was when we started at least I don't know I don't I don't fully know how that stuff works but we'll find out perhaps so we're already at 14 cents this should take us to 15 at some point there extra bombs as well and really there's just nothing to complain about here I keep I, I'm starting these rebirth runs and I'm waiting for the axe to fall you know I'm waiting for the rebirth run that we start and we have like one HP Isaac's heart guillotine or something like that but it hasn't happened oh that was bad but it hasn't happened yet did lose one penny in the process there. Lemon Party. I would have loved to have known that that was Lemon Party in advance, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, the Fool card is still pretty useful for us. I will use two bombs here. And if they want to... Oh, that's so good. If they want to keep giving us these Eden starts that are... I don't want to say unlosable, but pretty tough to lose. Then that is totally fine by me as well. So the D20 is a, an interesting conundrum here. I'm going to be sticking with the D6, and the reason behind that is because we never get the D6 anymore because we're on an Eden streak, basically. So, um, if we can find a room to use the D20 on, I wouldn't mind doing so. Yeah, we do still want to do this. And the 15 cents. Let's take the... Let's re-roll the D20 and then take the 9 volt. I'm very sorry about this D20. I'm also just going to pop the death card here because I want to take the fool card with me. We get blank card. 
and then we will go back and buy the, well, we should get the Fool card. We'll go back and buy the 9 volts, so we get a charge for our deal with the Devil, but hopefully our deal with the Devil just ends up being good enough, or we're forced into taking it so that we can reroll Blank card and stick with the D6. A lot of Spacebar items have showed up early here. Wait, we want to pick this up first. Could have also just bought the battery charge, I guess, but 9 volt is good for us in the future, so... Or it's, it's good for us permanently as opposed to just a one-time thing, so we'll see. Can't help but feel like I probably could have used the uh, D20 a little bit better if I'd known that it was there. Like, maybe don't pick up the money from the big room where I got petrified poop and instead just re-roll it all. Who knows? Uh, we'll take the screw here for extra DPS, and then in our deal with the devil... One of those is Lemon Party, I think. This is, uh, this is an interesting one. I think we want Judas' Shadow. Obviously. I don't think we want the nail, but we might as well take it so it doesn't show up again, and then re-roll it for, into something free that's hopefully better. And I, it's a guppy item, whether it's better or not is debatable, but it does give us a guppy piece. We got telepills, so we lost our fool card. Oh, Jesus. Please do not send me Steam notifications in the middle of uh, gameplay. It's a little disrespectful. Now I gotta go because I got this thing on my quick bar now that is like, hey... Check out the, this. Let me let me get out of the way here. This it fucks up my Windows arrow shit. Okay, now I gotta. This is why I've gotta put myself uh, offline on Steam all the time. Hopefully that solves that problem right there. Almost popped off with my lack of Canadian politeness there. You wouldn't like me when I'm slightly ornery. Um, sucks to lose the fool card, but our damage is gonna be off the charts now, obviously. And if we want to, we can now uh, work our way into the. Boss trap room, and I'm really feeling like our HP is not that much of a deterrent considering how good our damage is right now. I want bombs, keys, maybe. Uh, I'm really worried about this being bad trip. It was not bad trip, it's 48 hour energy, which is actually incredible for us, because now we can reroll uh, the crap out of the blank card. Not that blank card is bad, but it does warrant a reroll in our current situation. If we can reroll it into something that's half decent, then that is amazing for us. So that pill ended up being really incredible. So our damage. For the entire run, it would be nice if we can get some more, but it's sorted. We don't need any more in order to succeed. I'm going to be pretty easy going here. Yeah, we'll take chocolate milk. That's not even debatable. And I'm going to be an idiot and not pick up uh, anything else. Like, I'm not going to go back and get that battery, for example, just because I'm lazy about it. And it's not a good habit, but self-control is a well. And, and by doing that, I've refilled the well slightly. Curse of the Blind. Very dangerous, uh, potentially. Thank you for that key, perfect timing. We get... Ankh, which is not bad. Whether you'd call it good or not, uh, it largely depends on our situation. If we find ourselves dying, then this will be great, but I, I doubt we will. We certainly should not die, uh, but we have to, you know, live long enough in order to actually get some Tinted Rocks or something like that. But for Curse of the Blind, uh, all you can really ask for is an item that doesn't ruin your run, and this certainly does not ruin our run, so I'm excited about that. Chocolate milk helps out a ton as well, and now there are some items I'd get rid of the D6 for because we're getting into, like, you know, fun territory. Uh, if we could get rid of the D6 for Tammy's head, we would have shots with, like, insanely high hitboxes right now. It would be a lot of fun to mess around with that. And you can see, like, this is way more damage than you're normally doing at this point in the game. And it's kind of a fun uh, tier effect as well. It's not just Brimstone or Mom's Knife. It's actually a, it's actually a bit of a cool one. And we could probably buy a Spirit Heart, but... I don't really care. As long as we can make it to our boss, we would expect to probably have a choice to get HP. Because of there's options. HP is like one of the more common boss room drops without a doubt. This feels like a secret room to me. And it is indeed. A uh, battery could be useful. We don't know if we're going to be able to reroll anything uh, anyway because of the fact that we have Curse of the Blind. So we'll just be picking things up. But maybe... Uh, we could reroll Krampus's head or something, but we already have the reroll for that, and we're not going to use it for anything else. So I don't know. Don't like this room. Ended up not being so so bad. I just want to get off this floor as soon as possible. As far as boss rush goes, we're making like decent time. Not too uh, bad, not too great, but not too bad. And there's again, if we don't like our boss item, if it somehow gives us an active item, which I don't even know is possible unless we fight like the pony. Um, I guess we could reroll it a couple times. Let's see. Peep. This will be a good test for our damage, actually. I forgot that I won't be able to choose what my uh, item is, basically, with there's options. I'll be able to choose a direction, but I won't be able to choose uh, 
you know, what the actual content of that is. So I'm going to go left. Left. We got HP up. Okay, and then on our deal with the devil, it's not a Krampus fight. We have to go for the, the two heart deal. Because it could be amazing. Lord of the Pit. That's not really that good. What about this? What if we reroll this? We can pick it up. We get Death's Touch. It'll kill us, but we'll come back with the Ankh. But now we're Blue Baby, so we've actually maybe lost our Dark Judas effect, but in doing so, we've picked up Death's Touch. Which is not as good, I think, but is very interesting, I think. Whether or not that was a good decision, let me put it this way. I don't think it matters all that much because we're in such a, a great position in terms of just our chances of winning. Uh, so yeah, every floor looks very different from the one previous to it uh, here. Let's head down to the next floor. Catacombs 1 is pretty much over. I'll check quickly for our second secret room for an Eternal Heart. And it's not there, so we'll head down to the next floor. Weird, but still very, very good. And for the first time in 100 years, we've used the Ankh to actually do something productive, so I guess that's a plus. Lots of bombs here. Not a bad thing. You know what? Maybe it was worth if... I, first off, I don't know if we did lose Dark Judas. I'm just operating under the worst case scenario that we did. But it might be worth getting rid of that damage multiplier for Death's Touch, considering that it gives you the piercing shots as well. It might not be worth it. But if that was your only option, it's it's more of a lateral move at worst. Let's put it that way. It's, it's not necessarily a terrible trade. But it, it might be suboptimal, but it's also kind of fun. And again, like... These, uh, these Eden runs are just looking borderline unlosable because of how many outs they give me. Not that I've made any major mistakes here, but, uh, you know, they let you play a little fast and loose and get a little uh, reckless abandon going on. That was very, very easy. A double key room? Let's reroll this shit. I'm ready. Don't get too attached. All right, well, in this case, I'll actually just take the money and run. I might even blow you up. Maybe get some better consumables out of you, and that is good. We are up to 15 cents again, so our shop is... Theoretically viable. My favorite two words in the English language. That's not good enough. That is good enough. SMB Super Fan is not uh, the be all end all, but I'll take it. And of course, if you're wondering why we have Spirit Hearts from it, it is because uh, we are Blue Baby now. We are not just three Spirit Hearts, we are officially Blue Baby. Let's move along down here. 24 cents. Puts us in a great position to hopefully pick up like Champion's Belt, maybe? I always just want more damage. I'm a little greedy in that regard. Um, not my best damage to take from that champion fire, but anyway. It's not really a champion fire either, technically Northern Lion is not a champion fire, it's actually just uh, a different color of fire, we call it aggro fire, I actually don't know what the community calls it. I am just blowing smoke out of my ass right now, effectively. So I'll tap, tap, tap on the mechanical keyboard here, annoying everybody's ears in a three mile radius. And I will go into this without a... Uh, without a reroll, but it ended up working out okay. Both of those items, that was a win-win as far as I'm concerned. That was not very smart, though. Um, we either take growth hormones for the speed plus damage, or we take meat, which is uh, HP plus 0.3 damage. I'm assuming growth hormones is better, but if I if I made a mistake there, then that's pretty much on me. I don't really want sharp plug. I know that that's uh, sacrilege. I decided to pick up some other stuff instead. And you know what? We're at 11 minutes here. Let's do some more exploration. Very much like to find like a tinted rock or something like that, and we're going very quickly. Like we're we're not slow, so we don't have to worry about uh, you know blowing our chance at boss rush. If boss rush is even something we should be worrying about right now is a different issue. It's debatable. The hive mind pickup is basically just future prospects. I know there will be a deal with the devil at some point in my life, and we will do our best to 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 become guppy as a result of it. And what is going on with all these blood banks here? If only we were Dark Judas with those HP upgrades, I could have played those Blood Banks and then used Counterfeit Penny to get more money and then, I don't know, you can't take it with you, but... Let's maybe try not to walk into the fire right off the bat. That was a bit of a... the worst play I've ever made in my life. Just a little bit of the worst play in history. We get a Burkano Rune. It's maybe one of the very few times in my life that I don't... waste a Burkano Rune right away because we actually have a ton of damage. Uh, from a hive mind, so if we can use this on a room that is a little bit more difficult, that might be good. But for now, it's down to the next floor and basically just uh, kind of clinging to survival here, but not in too dangerous of a way. Still a pretty uh, easy situation for us. You know what? I will take Pulse Worm. Petrified Poop has done uh, has done gangbusters for us, but I like Pulse Worm. 
Makes the hitbox even sillier for Death's Touch, which is a big bonus in my world. Not that it's an actual uh, objective bonus or anything like that. Bonuses in my world are just things... That was very poor dodging. Things that feel good. And Pulse Worm definitely feels good, especially with an item like Death's Touch. But it also gives you a little bit of an, of an advantage uh, in terms of being able to hit things even more easily. Or from, or hit more things at once, I guess I should say. Well, we found our secret room accidentally. I wanted to blow these up in case we could get a teleport card. Got to 16 cents even without petrified poop. I mean, it's the other thing, is you don't really see that much poop uh, at this point in the game, usually. No greed, please. I, I made a few pretty poor mistakes there, and my HP is looking not so good. I would like the chance to buy some more, which we did. Should have used two of clubs before I bombed that, but. That's okay. You know what? I'll use it right now. And we'll start blowing up some skulls to try to get some uh, some more cards. And I've made another terrible mistake. Now things are starting to get into a little bit of a scary territory. Would like to find some tinted rocks. A little bit of sloppy play here. And we'll see how this deal with the devil even looks. This would be an awesome opportunity to fight Krampus and reroll it into a, a guppy item or something like that. I know it's a tall ask, but we'll see. Pentagram has to... Oh my lord. Pentagram has to take precedence there. And we get a three hard guppy's hairball, which I can't even take, but I guess I'll re-roll it into Mom's Knife, which I also cannot take. What was my thinking behind the re-roll? Uh, basically, I wanted to see if it would re-roll into nine lives, at which point we could have taken it. Now, this would be a terrible run to lose to the point where I'm going to start blowing up these skulls. Whoa! Nearsighted friend almost just killed me. That would have been one for the one for the ages. Um, we're gonna blow up as many skulls as we can because we want to get spirit hearts, demon hearts, whatever you would like to call them at this point in your in your life. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna impede on your right to do that. Telepills. Interesting. If we get real mad at a room, we could just leave. But I like I like having the money, and I really like the only way to get an extra chance of getting a spirit art is going to be to do these rooms. So let's do it, and maybe we'll telepills out at the end, or we could telepills out a boss rush if we have to, if we can, I should say. In fact, that should probably be our number one priority: is getting in and out of boss rush. We still got time to to swing that easily. Man, there's so many times I've taken stupid damage on this run, and I just want to go back and be like, just give me like that spirit heart back. Give me the one spirit heart that I was a total idiot about. And this would not even be scary. But that being said, I'm not really that scared. Ha, ah, hilarious. Tell you what, we'll take the fool for now. Suicide King's not going to do much for us. It's another telepills. Another 48 hour energy. Might as well just use it. Get the get those on here because we'll take the fool instead of telepills. Half red heart's not going to do too much for us. Come on. I know there's... Oh, that could be... A spirit heart, which would be very meaningful. There is one in there. And then I'm hoping for some tinted rocks. I haven't found any in like three floors, which is honestly probably as much my fault as, as anything else. But, oh, we got to... Oh, don't take ghost, baby. There's like 12 batteries here on the floor, you dummy. Explosive diarrhea. Run! That's all right. We got, to... we got another demon heart out of it. Forgot we hadn't seen our item room on this floor. Soy milk, that will be re-rolled. Because I'm a little scared, honestly. I know that I am the guy who uh, who does the absurd things, but this time I was a little frightened. I thought there was a battery back there, but it's the other way. Um, I'm gonna re-roll soy milk uh, again, if I can. There's two batteries back here, I think. We'll re-roll re -roll soy milk into something else. I also don't want it to ruin chocolate milk. X-ray vision is fine. And then we will come back and re-roll. Oh, there's a tinted rock as well. Very, very acceptable, and we will come back and re-roll Bob's brain or Bob's rotten head, and turns into my best friend, which is pretty bad. And now we will just leave, and we actually wanted the fool card. Okay, now we'll just go, and hopefully the second secret room contains some HP here. But either way, I'm feeling pretty good. We still got a small chance of boss rush, but more importantly, we lived, which is a pretty big deal for me. That is not a guppy item. You gonna let me take mom's knife back here? No, you are not. That, you know what? That's completely acceptable. I missed a chance at a guppy item, and as such, should not expect another chance to become guppy uh, over the course of this. Ah, let's 
Let me put it this way. If we actually do become Guppy on this run, it'll be a, a pretty extreme swing of luck, so. This is our last boss because we are on uh, pre-womb floors. So we probably shouldn't have even done this if we're trying to get the boss rush and snag a free item. The reason I did it is because we have, uh, you know, one guppy item, so the chance to swing it a little bit would be awesome. And we actually picked up some HP out of that as well. Curse room contains two pills, one of which is range up, the other one telepills. We can already just go to our secret room here, get out for free, and that is um, lemon party, if I recall. It was indeed. Okay. Well, we've cleared out a lot of stuff <laughs> right off the get-go here. Uh, we've Curse of the Maze, obviously. It's very strange. Very unusual. Got two minutes, so probably like a minute and a half to get into the mom fight because we don't have any kind of orbital or anything like that. Do we take the left hand to try to become Guppy? I think there are worse decisions, but let's see what's going on up here first. We can always, if we telepills out of the mom fight, we can always, not telepills, but fool. We can always come back and see what's going on in there. We can always pick it up later. Pulse Worm is not a, a bad trick, and I'm enjoying it right now. Oh, this is the right way. Okay, so we can totally beat Mom and get out of Boss Rush and not have to worry about timing at all here. This has become a surprisingly kind of intense run. Please let me let me in. Okay, maybe we'll come play that at the end. But first, let's deal with Mom. And we are, like, one amazing Boss Rush item away. Or deal with the Devil if the game is so inclined. Uh, from never having to worry about this run again. Oh, I almost walked right back into that. We're not too far away from being, you know, snowballing out of control, as I like to say. We will take the Polaroid here. No deal with the devil. Totally fair. Um, unicorn stump with no orbitals, attack fly, mysterious liquid, or Pisces. Eh, let's go a little, let's go hard. Reroll it, and we'll take Cricket's head, and then get out of here. Pretty nice damage bonus for us. And makes our shots much larger as well. Okay, I mean, it's not... Cricket's head doesn't mean we never have to worry about this run again. But it does help us, of course. And now we can take a little bit more of our sweet time here. I think I'll stick with Pulse Worm, just because our tiers are so large right now. It's like, why, why mess with the good thing, right? It's going really well. Yeah, and our damage now is melting enemies pretty quickly. I worry a little bit about our HP, but our basically our range is not necessarily that that amazing, but our effective range is out of control because our tiers are so large that they can travel across the screen by only moving like, you know, 30 or 40 pixels. Pandora's box now doesn't give us very much. So let's reroll it because we can. I think we'll buy it, take a pill. Well worth it, and then we'll reroll it. We get a sharp plug. We'll take it and try not to accidentally kill ourselves with it, and then we'll donate as much money as the donation machine will let us. Um, why take sharp plug? Because we're probably not going to get another reroll anyway. I know it doesn't work with 9 volt. So be it. Pretty much puts us in this situation. Um, and there you go. Decent donation to our donation machine. And our item room, of course. Item room contains the parasite. That is actually really fun with uh, shots as large as we have right now and piercing shots as well. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Now I would totally... I still think, even though that's obviously better, Pulse Worm is just more fun with our loadout. It just keeps getting more and more fun as well. But um, yeah, I would love to uh, I would love to replace the D6 with Tammy's head at this point. That would be ridiculous. The death card, not super meaningful. Don't really give a shit about the donation machine, or not donation machine, but the fortune teller when I only have one penny. Now what I will do is use the death card on a room like this. And this is going pretty well. Golden key. Doesn't insulate us too much, but we have been getting a lot of golden chests, so that might be something for us to think about. This is really our last chance at a deal with the devil, so I'm hoping that we can uh, maybe redeem ourselves somewhat for having not had the cash to really take, or not cash, but HP to take too many deals with the devil. Which is on me for taking as much dumb damage as I did, but still. Let's work around it. Hematemesis, huge plays. Pretty fly, actually really good. Health down, slight problem. Yeah, it could have been a lot better, obviously. And we're still sort of on the on the clock here as far as survival goes. But certainly when it comes to damage, especially crowd control, we've got no problems. Big bosses, sorry, I've been playing a little bit of Metal Gear Solid 5 lately. Big bosses might be a little bit of trouble. 
more trouble proportional to, to just regular rooms. Um, but even bosses like, obviously, uh, Teratoma or Fistula, they're going to go down super easily. You know what? Loki went down very easily as well. And Chubb went down in one hit. So maybe uh, I was overestimating or underestimating how much damage we're doing right here. I can't really see what's happening as it's happening, but I do know that when I unleash or when I release this key, all enemies seem to die with some regularity. So uh, I feel like we're probably in a pretty good position then. And another fast run. I mean, I, it, this run has been amazing from a damage standpoint. I'm having a great time. Temperance. It's a little interesting. I mean, we'll use bad gas on this boss, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that went pretty well. Oh, we'll definitely take Cat of Nine Tails. And then see what we've got in here. It's Krampus. Still could be a, an opportunity for a viable reroll. Re and it is. We get Headless Baby. is not particularly strong, but... Uh, that's okay. Our damage gets even better and our HP doesn't change at all. So that should keep things a little bit exciting here as we head to the back end of the run. Curse of the Maze. Not a huge problem unless we accidentally walk ourselves into red poop, which happens now and then. I'm still holding out hope for more red chests and here we go. We, we've already done this room. We know it's easy. Oh, we got goat head. That's like super late. <laughs> doesn't help us at all. Hematomesis does not either. 40 to our energy does. We'll reroll that into the body. Ooh, okay. So, I'm gonna take Forget Me Now, but I'm not gonna use it until the chest. I know that this is like goodbye to our D6, but I, I feel like I've made some sacrifices in the name of survival. Like, normally I'd like to be more absurd, but I made some sacrifices to my uh, absurdity, like soy milk, for example, in order to take uh, survivability over it. So let's uh, not nip that in the bud a little bit. And instead I'll take Forget Me Now down to the chest. Assuming we make it to the chest, which is, a, it's a little bit of a bold assumption. Not an absurdly bold assumption, but a little bit. Curse of the Lost is also largely meaningless unless I just cannot find the exit because I keep choosing the wrong direction, which does happen. I don't know, is our luck stat high enough that we would expe uh, be expecting to find um, a lot of chests on the chest? I think probably not, but I would like it if it worked out that way. Every spirit heart could be the one that, that takes us over the top here. This is what we need, is like enemies to get super close to the walls, because then they get hit by more parasite shots and it makes, uh, makes our life easy. Enemies that are in the open are actually slightly more troublesome. You know what would be great here? 2020. That's, that's, combined with uh, Tammy's head, that's my dream item right now. Isaac's Jar of Tears would be a, a reasonable facsimile, but I'd rather not. To get another Spirit Heart there. Another one. And a Curse Room. Which, of course, we have to visit the Curse Room. Not, not batting too well on Guppy items here. Uh... <laughs> And we get Guppy's Paw, and the D6 is still available on this floor, so I'm like, shit, man, maybe we should... No, wait, it was the last floor. Okay, so we just got our Guppy item, and we can leave that at that. You know, we left we left our Guppy chance on the womb, too, in order to take Forget Me Now instead. That's okay. There's our secret room. I was hoping it was second, but we haven't really traveled that far yet. Maybe we can skip the line a little bit here, go up here, and uh, find the exit a little faster. One of these days, I'm going to pull out the graph paper. I'm going to start charting my own courses on these Curse of the Lost floors. Ah, there we go. Lucky us. We got a crawl space out of that as well. The crawl space leads to a black market where I will pay three set or three spirit hearts for various items. Um, but you know what? We have ways around this because there are blue fires. Maybe we can get something on the cheap. Well, we, oh, we can get these other ones. I don't know if like we can push the bomb in there. No, okay. That's going to be a tough sell. Uh, we have a regular judgment. What's up, regular judgment? You got something for me? Anything? I don't know if I want HP or a spirit heart or what, but... I'm not doing anything else with the money. Trying to keep you alive. Don't really want to give up any keys right here. I will pay three spirit hearts for champion belt because I'm an idiot. And I, I can't resist the allure of extra damage. Just blow this guy up, see if we can get something out of him. Another spirit heart would be awesome. Uh, oh, okay. I have to get rid of... I'm so sorry. 
But I have to get rid of, uh, forget me now, for Tammy's head. It's the item I've been asking for forever. And it'll be so good, I promise you it'll be great with these items. I hate to have done this, the room before the end, but, um, that's why I had to take Tammy's head right there, so. Uh, I didn't know that it would kill Isaac in one hit. But I'm happy it did, because it vindicated me. And let's see what else we got. Virgo's fine. Tiny Planet will be very strange. Shielded Tears seems really great with what we've got going on here. We'll just throw that down. Mom's Eye, why not, right? I have no idea if that's better or worse. Initial Hunch is obviously worse. But uh, that might just be because it's a big room. You know, we fight bosses on small rooms, so... Yeah, that seems really good. It was a bold claim, because basically you're saying, hey, this Tammy's head pickup is going to be worth four items on the chest, but I really do think it is. Like, it is, uh... It is going to win us the game easily if we weren't going to win it already. So this ended up being a very fun run. Uh, surprisingly... Surprisingly dangerous, really. But we made it happen. Take Poison Touch, because there's no reason not to. And we know if we can just make it to the uh, boss fight, which should not be a challenge based on how these rooms are going, there should be basically zero chance for us to die, because all we need to do is get in there and press the sp- Oh, I fucked it up a little bit. All we need to do is get in there and press the space bar against, uh, against the boss, and they'll be dead. And it looks- Oh, yeah, I'll take that for sure. It looks like the streak will continue here. And it's starting to become, like, kind of a genuine, genuine streak here. We're getting into the near 20s. Of course, with Eden, there's there's less momentum and more just like, you know, one run could completely change the game. But, uh, so far so good. And I have to admit, this has been the easiest start to a streak we've ever had. Like, all of these runs have been easy as hell in their own ways. I would have laughed so hard if that made us guppy. Not that we could kill the enemy much faster than killing them in one hit anyway, but uh, that would have been good. Yeah, this is some of the greatest damage I've ever had, without a doubt. And Blue Baby is dead. That was a good one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.